candlelight flickers into night, the unwieldy sweltering sky. Thoughts keep my head above the tide. Nature's innocence have taken flight. Hundreds of years ripped from their soil. Candlelight flickers into night. Weight of water exudes the flesh. Insects feast on forbidden fruit. Thoughts keep my head above the tide. Hummingbirds fly roaring with light. God's breath on their wings to sustain. Candlelight flickers into night. The hunted becomes the hunter. The edge of reason to survive. Candlelight flickers into night. Thoughts keep my head above the tide. God's agenda compromised. Man's guilt is conscious, benevolent, weighed against false God's virtue. A man called me a nigger. Maybe he couldn't pronounce my African name. Perhaps it was my unflinching gaze and visiting my ancestors in chains. Summoning crimes against humanity, the rape of African pubescent is apparent in my hue. Engulfed in constant denial and condescending irreverence for greed and contempt, I am cattle in his portfolio, stolen and sold into slavery by African European and American. Stripped naked of native tongue, culture, family, and homeland. And when I am of no further use as a mule of capitalism, they deny me an education and call me ignorant. They deny me work and call me lazy. They inflict disease, arrest, and imprison black youths for fear of a black planet. They call me boy, rapist, liar, murderer, thief, to conceal their true nature. Good for nothing, worthless, dull-witted, dim-witted niggers go back to Africa. To survive the African Holocaust, we will seek shelter in your shadows to elude you as cowardly, ignorant, and docile servants continue to work in the fields. You continue to rape the world sip mint juleps and dine on hors d'oeuvres. Does God exist? Is God good? Is God evil? This is the question I ask myself. How do we know God isn't evil, or better yet, his alter ego isn't the devil? Just look around you. What do you see? I see evil everywhere. I believe as we are made in his likeness, then so he is part good and part evil. We believe what our parents have told us to be the truth, and the truth is self-evident. I don't believe in religion. Religion is necessary to keep men from inflicting the world with anger and ego for wealth, power, and respect. Religion and all his disciples are to be taken very seriously. Religion has its creation, and in the beginning man was looking for answers. Who am I? Why am I here? Where do I go when I die? Who made me? What made it? Did any other civilizations exist before us? Who writes history? The winners write history. Mankind is split into many groups, manipulators, 
capitalists, whores, murderers, rapists, politicians, and clergy. You must always have access to your third eye to recognize evil. The reason one recognizes evil over the next is because he has tapped into the well, either as victim or perpetrator. Getting old is the hardest thing he ever had to do in his lifetime. These truths are self-evident. We are by design. We are created by a higher life form. As bees returning to the fire, we are walking reminders of the hive. Incarceration, a study of savages. We are all good and evil, angels and devils. Choose a side. Man is a dog. Man is no God. Man made, man corrupted. Save your life. Don't be afraid. You are perverted, no regrets, don't give a fuck. At 13, innocence was lost. Tormented by incestuous lust to forget she's only 13. Daddy's princess plays grown-up games while mother turns tricks for the rent. At 13, innocence was lost. Childhood's no longer naive as she receives her weekly allowance to forget she's only 13. All she ever wanted was love Instead, she contracts a disease. At 13, innocence was lost. Guilt makes her repeat the sin, a young girl's allowance, to forget she's only 13. Staring back at her reflection, she doesn't think before she speaks. At 13, innocence was lost. The struggle to be is the driving force behind all his existence. To aim for the highest attainable star in the universe and at any cost secure the position. His life is filled with the sadness of truth that exhibits before him in all its fashion. And when he looks back 30 years down the line in all honesty, what will he see? an older and rapidly aging version of himself on his birthday that seems to appear four times a year. In his veins, the evidence of a life polluted with the strains of decadence and self-medication. Old, neglected, and forgotten is his reward as he closes his eyes, reminiscing about former glory and a kinder, softer light. Inflicted in his body with the aches and pains starting at the base and pulsating through the arteries and veins to the inroads of the journey of this man's life. Who is this demon that lurks beneath the realms of the senses? 
persuading my whims and desires to sacrifice all that is good and real for vanity and superficiality? Or is it? Am I my enemy? Could I be the saboteur my wealth and fame disguised as sickness and defeat? Failure is destiny. Your fate was your fault. Your demeanor is translucent and we are not one of you and you are not one of us. The man woke up this morning and realized he was on the wrong road. How could this be, he asked himself. I've worked so hard and made all the right connections and friends. How did I not see the signs? Someone or something must be to blame. Perhaps he went back to sleep and only after he shut off the alarm. speak to you in a language that you understand. When I dream, I dream of flying. My spirit grows weary of my body. Listen to the words of a dying man. I've been dying for 43 years, 17 hours, and 29 minutes. I've coexisted with evil men who have manipulated the will of good men and flourished a world of sacrificial lambs and savages. Frequent stream of smiles and departures all knowing. Kindness protrudes like a fish breathing out of water. Positions of beauty and fury, aroused lurking beneath the realms of my fear and godliness, to inspire and or destroy all that you are afraid to embrace, and what is my God-given right as a man. sensitive soul of misfortune for no man can choose his father mothers cannot choose their sons and daughters but the latter can be nurtured learn and rise what defines the man the fear of no man Last dance, the bar is closing. Water's up to her neck. How much longer can she hold on? Afraid to fall asleep, she doesn't know where she awake. Lived a simple life, consumed by needs and wants. As she listens to Satchmo, sipping on air, falling deeper, drifting under lucid spell, she can't go any further, 
Her will to survive is diminishing. One day she will forgive, wishing it can go back to the way it was. Beware of the bearer who provokes envy. Words become numbers and values muted. Consumerism is his fetish, the prey, my brethren, the lowly Negro. Eyes towards the ground, the devil intuitively watches. Bearer who sets the trap is a malicious and mischievous coward. Convince the world he means no harm. My vices have been reintroduced to my insecurities. Exhausted and afraid, I don't want to live. A desire until my will to survive rapidly deteriorates. My suffering escapes my capacity to think honorably. To live and die is my only rite of passage. Given the devil the pieces that complete me. Self medicating my inner turmoil with substance abuse. What is the value of a man running in circles tracking his own shit? Do they watch television in heaven or in hell? Why don't I end my life? Trapped in the devil's noose, I'm not breathing. I'm choking to death. Can't you hear me screaming? I disappear. And no one will give a fuck that I am no longer a rarity. No desire to love you and the only touch I need is my own. I am the son of God and man. Take another step closer. Why won't you let me catch up to you? I have so much to tell you. Growing intoxicated in wanton need. Paradoxes of insatiable lust for fleeting use. A nuisance and an intolerable hypocrite. Hold your breath before you pull the trigger. The curtain falls on my nightly charade. Lecherous and diabolical actor receiving praise for staying in character. The world has stopped revolving and is in remission. I am alone even when I'm sharing it with you. Incestuous. A poor man living beyond his means. Wayward passages trickle and indent posturing fools. They are watching and listening, observing the walking, as they keep pretending to keep the sun out of their eyes. Pledge allegiance to the flag, to murder your fathers and sons, rape your mothers and daughters, steal your land and resources, spread disease, famine, and disorder with disdain and injustice for all. Scars that cut beneath my flesh. You can't feel my scars. You're the aggressor. I'm the victim. Age has skewed your memory. Reflecting on happier times. Photo albums mirror your claims. An innocent bystander. Sometimes I forget the scars until I remember. 
I remember everything. I can't forgive. I will never forget. The scars are deep. They will never heal. Just weep.